Delegates are very interesting to work with, and this idea of passing around small snippets of code to express how to perform some operation is very interesting. And it's so interesting and so prevalent in Link that Microsoft defined a new type that makes working with delegates very easy. The type is Funk. Funk is a generic type, and it encapsulates delegates. That is, it encapsulates callable code. It takes from 1 to 16 generic type parameters, this Funk type. The last generic type parameter to Funk represents the type of the return value. Everything else represents the type of the inputs. In other words, if I write a Funk of int and bool, that is going to be a delegate that takes an integer as its first and only parameter and returns a boolean. And a func of int and int takes an int as a parameter and returns an int. So something that takes an int and returns an int might be a function that squares a number. So we could say that given a number x, x goes to x times x. In other words, I have something that I can invoke immediately called square, give it the value 3, and that should return a 9, 3 times 3. I could find another func of int and int and int. Remember, the last generic type parameter is always the return type, so this still returns an integer, but this one takes two integers as parameters, and that could be something that adds two numbers. So I could say add equals x and y are my two integer parameters, and that goes to returning x plus y. Note that with lambda expressions, the parentheses are required when you have zero or two parameters to a func, and they are not required if you only have a single parameter. So just x, I don't need the parentheses there. You can still place them there, and that's legal. I'll leave them off. But when we have x, comma y, the parentheses are required. And now I could add 1 and 3 and square that result and write it out to the console. And as I said, func takes from 1 to 16 generic type parameters, so you could have up to 15 input parameters. You'll always have some return type. If you do not need to return anything, you can write an action. An action is just like func, but there is no return value. It, re it returns void. So an action that takes an int is something that takes an integer as an input, doesn't return anything. We could have an action called write. And say that given some value x, that goes to console.write the value x. And now what I could do on this line of code is I could say write out the result of squaring the addition of 1 and 3. So the great thing about func is that when I'm implementing methods like this where I need a delegate, like this filter delegate, I no longer need to define delegates for each and every combination of parameters and return types that I have. Instead, I could just say that this is a func of t and bool. So it can take a string, take an integer, take a date time, whatever I enumerable of t is, but it always has to return a bool so that I can invoke it and get back a Boolean result that I test to figure out if this item should be included in the output or not. And now all of the link operators that you will find in that system.link namespace, you'll find them using parameters of type func. So let's go back to using system.link. And that means that I can walk up to my cities and instead of filtering them, I can use the proper link operator that is defined for me called where. And I could say that given a city, and sometimes people will name their lambda expression parameters with just a single character. That's not required. You can make them verbose names also. So given a string city, city goes to city dot starts with L. And then I could also say order by descending. Now, order by is a lot like where. It knows how to order things, but it doesn't know what you're looking at when you're ordering them. So maybe given a city, I want to order by the length of that string in descending order. And one of the things you can see here is that we can chain link operators together. So first we will filter, then we will sort. I could also then do a select to project, join, grouping, and so forth. But let's just do a quick build and run this. And you can see now that the output order was reversed. We have Las Vegas, which was the longer string, and then London in the output.